Mark, uh, let's talk about social media. The government's had uh, yet another crackdown on kids uh, getting access to inappropriate material. Uh, this has been uh, unveiled, this new initiative, which will involve tough new age checks. You're not supposed to use social media under the age of 13. Uh, it was unveiled by Ofcom, the media regulator, on Wednesday. Uh, they'll be required to introduce, uh, this is social media firms, uh, robust checks, including the use of photo ID such as passports. Uh, and uh, if uh, the, uh, far, uh, the tech giants are caught uh, basically inducing children into seeing uh, the wrong material and basically turning a blind eye to them being too young, they could be uh, fined 10% of their na international turnover for a year, which in the case of Facebook Meta, as it now mysteriously calls itself. Why don't they do that? What's wrong with calling it? Why don't they change the name from Facebook to Meta? Facebook was a good name. Anyway, that's another issue. Same for Twitter. X. Can't even say it, it never properly. Never really works. Stupid. Does it? The whole stupid. Thing. These clever people who run these companies are just stupid, aren't they? Uh, anyway, uh, they will be fine. That for, for Meta, a fine of ten percent of their annual turn. That would be like eleven billion pounds. So that would be quite a fine. Uh, fine. Now, Isabel, you're a, a parent of kids within the, the age group that tend mm. to be attracted by smartphones and tablets. Uh, the thing about this is, OK, tough new checks. Kids will find a way around it. No problem at all. And it kind of worries me. I'm no, I'm no fan of tech giants, but you're going to get some kid who gets into trouble who will have gone to great lengths to get around the, the photo checks. So they got on. And then Meta or someone will be fined 11 billion quid for something the parents should have stopped i think as a parent i feel quite disempowered over this whole thing you know most of us quite quite quickly realize that our teenage children are way ahead of us on everything to do with what's available via a smartphone i mean i was quite surprised the other day when my 11 year old said that she'd bought something on a website called Timu, have you heard of Timu? Uh, they They're all using it now. Uh, so this is, I'm guessing, cheap Chinese goods. I don't know if it's Chinese or not, but anyway, very cheap stuff. It's actually some of it's quite good. And ooh, you know, the, the, <laughs> the kids are basically for three or four quid, you can get a lot of amazing stuff, and kids like new stuff. Um, I'd never heard of this website, and they're always one step ahead. And I think as a parent, um, it is so difficult because. They they all want smartphones, of course they do. They can make pretty strong argument for why they, quote, need them. Um, and then once you've given those phones over, you can have these gloria, glorious ideas about how they're only going to have it at certain hours of the day or whatever. It all quite soon disintegrates. So what can you do? Have some fundamentals. I don't let my children look at their phone at the dinner table. I don't let them be on it on the couch, whatever. It's very limited, I think, but who knows what they're doing when I'm not looking. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? And the real problem is, and I, I, I hate to say this because, you know, we in the media, we're like, so we call for solutions. Who's got a solution to this problem? What, what are we going to do about it? I'm afraid, uh, you know, I think the answer to what we can do to solve the problem of kids accessing inappropriate uh, material on social media, uh, there is no solution. The Does that mean that we shouldn't try, though? I, I don't think it means we shouldn't try, <laughs> but we will never solve this problem as far as I'm concerned. The genie uh, got out of the bottle before we realised what we were doing and it's too late now. Well, I think, I think that's right, but I don't think it's a reason not to put more pressure on the companies to try and do as much as yeah, they can. Yeah. Um, does it mean that it's going to stop the problem? No. Really quite like the idea of some of these enormous companies contributing billions by way of a fine. I'm sure we could think of many good things we could do with that money yeah. uh, as a nation. Will it ever happen? Can you see uh, Facebook stroke Meta being fined yeah. billions for this? Can't really see it. It'd be fun to see Nick Clearing in the dock, though, wouldn't it? You know, the uh, what is he, the international communications boss of Extraordinary. Meta. Extraordinary. Yeah, who, who remembers him being our deputy prime minister? Those were actually quite good days. You know, you actually had a functioning government at that point and relatively secure borders. Well, a good thing about old Nick, uh, it's uh, quite clear now that if you pay him uh, enough money, he'll do anything, won't he? But, uh, I mean, as I say, I don't think there's anything we can do about this. 
except for, uh, and of course not all kids have great parents like you and all the great parents out there, uh, what would be good would be good parents sitting their kids down and saying, listen, you've got to be careful about that. In other words, educate their kids, and schools, monitor their kids. Right. But so many parents they just don't, don't really care. Um, I would say that the, um, the school, good schools do a lot of this stuff. I know my okay, children's good. school does, um, and that they've even invited parents for a number of sessions well, on great. this. So, yes, um, the best schools will be really proactive on this. They will teach children about the dangers. Um, whether children also have to learn a bit for themselves, well, it was ever thus, really, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'm sounding a bit sort of depressing and negative about this, actually. That's my uh, brand, actually, depressing negativity. But seriously, uh, I am sounding depressing and negative, but I, but I don't see what we can do about this because this strict new crackdown on age checks, kids are very ingenious. They'll get round this also, like that. Also, parents are very busy, by the way. So, you know, I'm sure there are are all sorts of things interventions that you can do that involve settings and things um i'm not that tech savvy i don't have hours to complete things forms to fill in online and things to stop access i think most parents just shut their eyes and hope for the best i think that's it but uh, i think what you said just now parents and good schools uh, do their should do their best to talk to their kids. It's the only thing you can do. It's like drugs, yeah. you know. You know, parents who delude themselves that in this day and age their kids will never take drugs. Yeah. Uh, you know that that's a that's a, as I say that's delusional. That's pulling the wool over your own eyes. All you can do is talk to your kids and say, listen, it's dangerous. In the knowledge they're going to try them. So you can't uh, sort of deny reality here. No, you can't, but you can do your very best to tell them why it's ridiculous yeah. and create a culture in which you're, you're creating an expectation of them that they're not going to behave in a certain way. I mean, yeah, by all means, go and try a cigarette. You're probably going to hate it. Mm -hmm. And it's idiotic to smoke. You know, that's, that's how I've been approaching it. Yeah, I... I um... You take uh, a different view on the smoking, I know. Well, I, no, I, t I, I, no, I, I uh, was told that you, you'll hate your first cigarette, and indeed I did. Uh, and, uh, but I persevered. <laughs> I persevered. I think I told you before that the first time I gave up smoking, I was 12. Yeah. Well, I started I was, when I was 11. Well, I would want to have words with whoever was bringing you up about that. Well, they didn't I know. I would smell it the my, instant my you walked in. Literally the my instant. My parents were good parents, but they didn't know. Yeah, the poor uh, sense really of smell, didn't. that's what. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, my uh, misspent youth is another issue.